Once your case is printed, all you need to do before assembly is add the heat set inserts. Take eight heat set inserts and place them, smooth side down, in each of the holes in the case. There are several ways to then insert the inserts into the case. I use a soldering iron with a heat set insert tip attached, but a standard soldering iron tip can also work. Using the soldering iron, rest the tip on top of the heat set insert, allowing it to get hot and melt into the plastic. Stop when the insert is fully inserted into the plastic. Repeat this for all of the heat set inserts. Once all inserts have been inserted, your case is ready for the next step of assembly. Let's now prepare your PCB. To prepare your PCB, you will first need to solder on any remaining through hole components. For PCBs purchased from my Tindy store, or using my assembly files from JLC PCB, this typically only includes the 8 amp and 2 amp fuses. To solder on these fuses, find the holes labeled 2A and 8A. For the 2 amp and 8 amp fuses respectively, insert the fuses, use something to hold the leads in place, and solder. Finally, clip off the excess leads, and your PCB is ready for use. Before we put everything together, I like to cut and prep all the wire that we will need for assembly. We'll start with the ground wire, which is typically green. You will need one piece, typically about 6 to 7 inches long. Next, we will do the neutral wires, which are typically white. You will need two of these, each typically about 4 to 5 inches long. Next, we will cut the hot wires, which are typically black. We will need three of these, all also 4 to 5 inches long. The last bit of wire prep I like to do is to crimp on ends. I often use crimp ends for parts that go into screw terminals, female spade ends for the IEC 320C14 connector, and fork spade ends for connecting to the US outlet, but this is all purely optional. One thing that is not optional, however, is stripping the ends of the wires. There are many ways to do this. I use wire strippers. Once all wires are stripped, you should crimp the connectors if you plan to use them. Again, this is optional, but if you have the tools, is highly recommended. Now, let's prepare the outlet. We'll start by removing the four wings that surround the mounting screws. Using a pair of pliers, grip the wings and bend until they break off. Repeat for all four wings. Next, we will separate the hot terminals for the top and bottom outlet. The hot terminals, on the right side, are connected with a metal tab. Using pliers, grab this tab and bend until it breaks off. Finally, remove the two screws from the top and bottom. Retain one of these as you will use it later. Now, your outlet is prepared and you are ready to assemble your case. The first thing I attach to the case is the US outlet. Insert the outlet through the front of the case and secure in the center with one of the two screws you removed from the outlet. Next, use two of the long M3 screws and two nuts to secure the top and bottom of the outlet. Next, I insert the C14AC inlet in the case and secure the top and bottom with two of the long M3 screws and nuts. Note that if you soldered your wires on, you may want to do this before the US outlet in order to be able to attach the ground wire. If you are using spade disconnects, however, attach the ground wire now. With this bit of wiring complete, let's secure the PCB. Insert your PCB into the case, align with the screw holes, and secure with the M3 6mm screws. Next, we're going to connect all the wires. The two AC input wires connect to the top screw terminal, with the black going to ACL and white going to ACN. One of the black wires from the outlet hooks to the heat ACL terminal, and the other black wire hooks to the cool ACL terminal. The white wire from the outlet hooks to either of the ACN terminals. To hook up a screw terminal, unscrew it partway, insert the wire, and screw it back down. Repeat for all of the wires. And with that, congratulations, your case base is fully assembled.